I wonder how some of these active investors did here. You take a look at uh, Rob Citrone on the screen there, as well as the folks over at DE Shaw. Uh, joining us right now to talk a little bit more about this is Catherine Burton, who covers this for us here at Bloomberg. And let's start off with DE Shaw. This is uh, obviously kind of like the, the quant's quant fund, if you will, at least the origination of it, uh, it was 10% return last year. Yeah, which yeah. for its yeah. peers yeah. is about, uh, say, upper quartile, I would say, mm -hmm. as far as what we yeah. know right now. You sound like a true quant by citing quartiles <laughs> there, here. Is that good? I try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that's a pretty good yeah. return. Mm -hmm. um, that fund that was up 10% usually in most years is double digit, so it's a little bit below its own historic average. Mm -hmm. But um, given what its peers have done, and some of them have not done really well, that's it's not bad. And then you think about the S&P 500 up 20, 22 percent or so, and maybe that 10 percent doesn't look so awesome. But what was D.E. Shaw actually investing in that uh, main hedge fund that led to those returns? Well, they're um, a multi-strat, so they're across many, many different um, strategies. And they don't, uh, the investors don't know that much about where the, mon where the returns are coming from. But uh, my sense is that a lot, like a lot of multi-strats, they did not do so well in equities because um, the equity market was driven by so few shares. So I'm, get, I'm thinking that maybe that was the case with DE Shaw's. What about Citroen's Discovery hedge fund? What was the winning bet there or the winning formula there? Oh, well, he is a macro-oriented fund and also emerging markets. Uh, so I uh, am told that he did uh, made money in Latin American bonds mm -hmm. as well as some equities and some U.S. credit as well. When do we expect to uh, get uh, some of the more uh, additional results out of some of the other head funds? Those will probably be uh, early next week or late this week, and we'll be running a big story about it. <laughs>